got Justin up next and playing a team of Indeedy, Top Hat, Venusaur, Torkoal and Urshifu. I feel like we're probably going to get a lot of kind of mirrors tonight. Um, okay. Let's go Bravery. Do I lead Tito? Uh, I don't want to lead Tito because of the top, but I mean... Hmm. I don't think they lead top. Yeah, I think we bring Dusclops and... Do we just want our own Torkoal? Helps deal with the Venusaur a little bit better. Um... But it does mean if I bring Tito, I'm going to have to kind of commit to maxing it. That's the only thing. And it's just probably better because they're definitely, I think, going for their Trick Room mode here. I don't think their, like, faster mode really works too well. So I think they have to kind of, they're forced to kind of go that Trick Room mode. Uh, I put Trick Room on it, though, to help with Trick Room teams. That makes a lot of sense, man. Yeah, I like Trick Room on the Comfy team. Um, I don't know if I said it, but like I was playing a, a turbo shroom in mine, so max speed Amoongus, just to try it out. But I, I did say like the one thing I would change about the team is probably slowing that Amoongus down because a trick room matchup is pretty brutal. Like you've got to play it so perfectly to get to get a good matchup. So putting a trick room mode in there makes complete sense. Okay, we got Urshifu and uh, Venusaur, which is perfect, really. Uh, I know Tito's super threatened right now. Um, it's going to be dark type Urshifu, I would imagine. Now we could go for a cheeky bulk up or we could just go for uh, Max with Bravery if we felt like that would be the better play. Um, and switch Tito to Dusclops. I think that's not a bad idea. Uh, it's just I don't... The only conflict with doing this is the Max Airstream, which I'm not like a huge fan of. Um, but I think they switch... Like, the, the other option is just going Brave Bird into Venusaur. But I think we go for the Airstream, and I think we bring in Klops. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Leon, mate, glad to see you. Been waiting what seems like ages to try and put together a water competitive team. Any suggestions? I've gone for Melotic, Slow King. Politoed, Gyarados, Lantern, Gasseron, purely because of the abilities. Mono Water and a really boom meta. I know, man. That's like, dude. I like the idea because I love water types. Um, it's super difficult at the minute, I think, to make that like work. I think a way to get around, if you're going pure Mono Water, it might be worth looking at something like, um, like Sapsip or Azumarill. Um, with Perish or something along those lines which would just give you something like a little buffer so you've got something to switch in against something like Rillaboom which can kind of cut through you pretty badly um, at least there you've got a little bit of alleviation um, to get around that okay well we're going to get the Airstream into Venusaur I don't know how much this is going to do oh it's very close but we do get the speed boost, so that's helpful. Uh, we do see a close combat from that Urshifu. It's locked into that now. Um, so, uh, there's that Max Ooze. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, the nice thing here... Hmm, the one thing I would say we'll probably see this next turn is um, the Urshifu potentially switching out into Ndidi. Um, and the Venusaur may be going for Max Guard. So what we could potentially do is switch back into Tito. It's risky though, isn't it? It is risky because like, I don't want to leave the Venusaur unchecked and then go for its, its max Vine Whip. Although I just don't think you do. I think you've got to adjust right now. You've got to adjust. You've got to max guard. You've got to get the Indeedee in. Yeah. And I think that's, this is like, so if we get this player, okay. That's the other play, of course. That is the other play. You've got the Torkoal in the back. Mastaviudo, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us. Yeah, it is jolly, uh, Stu. I can't remember the exact spread off the top of my head. 
but um yeah but leon if you want to chat after the stream or something man uh hit me up dm me and we can we can definitely chat about this this water build uh and see if we can get something uh put together for you this is a little bit risky because we could end up losing our Tito here if we do see the G-Max Vine Whip, which wouldn't be, yeah, that's not ideal. Um, just wanting damage into that Dusclops. <sighs> okay, well, they mustn't have brought there in DD. Um, that's super frustrating that uh, they went for that. But I mean, it, it was a risk, we've taken it. So um, we kind of have to just go with that. But what have we got to get around? I mean, hmm. We could bring in our own Torkoal. But then we do give them the speed boost. We probably don't want to do that. Probably don't want to do that just yet. And it is a Salt Vest Venusaur, so it's not, yeah, it's not got. I should have picked up on that a little bit earlier, I think. Um, yeah, we just got Nightshade into the Torkoal. Torkoal staying in. Probably going to uh, go for the Burning Jealousy into us now, though that's the only problem. Um, and I mean, both of our both of our attacking options there with with the bird we're not going to be um i mean we could have just protected max guarded and then went for the nightshade into venusaur to get rid of it that way for sure oh it's only got heat wave and we avoid wow okay yeah this is why burning jealousy is really good on like something like Tokol. um i don't really quite know if my opponent hasn't got any sort of speed control left how they're going to deal with what we've got left um Because the bird just beats Urshifu. Yeah, okay. And a brave bird should get it. Should get it. I'm gonna go for a nightshade again. Pipple Hayes, thank you so much for the follow and for joining the stream tonight i hope you're well had a good day and i hope you enjoy the stream with us um Stu, you got a wheezing matchup for cameron set this week yeah i know right that's the one thing i was thinking about when i saw the pair and i was like right let's uh let's build something that deals with wheezing because that's what we're going to need to uh I, he'll definitely bring wheezing um i can imagine cameron bringing it and not having um not having neutralizing gas just to throw me off or something like that <laughs> <laughs> and just steal game one that way. I don't know, it's going to be interesting. Uh, Cameron's such a good player as well, so it's not going to be like an easy ride at all. <sighs> He's G-Max Vine Whip, residual damage, taking a beating on, on our team. So, what's their last Pokemon? It is the Hitmontop. Oh. It's not, not ideal. Um, have we got... Hmm. I mean, we're fine either way. Like... I think we don't even protect here. I think we just set the trick room up and then let Torko come in and just clean up. I don't think there's much point of risking anything here. Uh, yeah, my opponent just cancels the battle. So yeah, good game to my opponent. Um, That's another nice win. Bravery is so good at the minute as well. And I think just because Venusaur and Rillaboom are just like everywhere, it just makes it such a good Pokemon and kind of tackles that whole issue with Intimidate as well. So, all right, creeping slowly back up the ladder. Here we go. Yeah. So I don't know, any of you guys that came in just recently, I was talking about it. So this Friday, I, I've actually set up um, a, a seed checking bot on my Discord. And it will be going live this Friday. I tested it, set it up all last night, and it's working perfectly. So I'm going to do a few more test runs between now and Friday, just to make sure for a, a prolonged period it's it's working fine. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, and I promise I won't keep going on about this tonight, just want to make you guys aware, uh, if you are interested in um, using a seed checker to get your den seed, so you can search and 
hunt for shiny den pokemon gmax pokemon whatever you want uh then that's that will be available no paywalls or anything like that and it should be running 24 7 after friday so if you do use it i hope it's useful we got our next opponent up anyway they're playing a gay uh, team of cinderace incineral gengar uh porygon 2 primarina and togekiss so what are you looking at here? You got a heavy trick room mode with the the prim uh, in Cinderella, and then like a really offensive fast mode with with the the Gengar, the Cinderace, uh, and a redirection there with the Togekiss. Um, and it's like a couple of ways we could go around this. Um, I feel like Bravery does pretty well in this match, um, especially as a lead. But we could just go. I mean, the other option is we go Venusaur and risk Sleep Powder into um, Cinderace and then go from there. Uh, I think we're going to have to do this. I think we're going to just have to lock in. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of time because I've talked far too much in that team preview. But we'll go with the Venusaur Torquo lead. My partner hasn't got any weather to abuse straight away. So we, we're going to have at least a free Sleep Powder into Cinderace, if we do see it come out, which I'd imagine we do, you could imagine as well, we'd probably see Cinderace Togekiss, I think, from my opponent. Ah, uh, we should have let the bird. The bird was the play. Uh, well, we're going to see Incineroar come out with Cinderace. Um, okay. I think what we do, hmm, we could definitely max. If they're not invested in Cinderace as well, we can max quick and actually pick the knockup out onto them. Um, and we should take the flare bits from Incineroar. It's just whether or not we see the Cinderace switch out and uh, Togekiss come in on that slot. That would be the, the, the worst case scenario for us. Um, I think we go for that play and we'll go for a... Just in case we do see it switch out, I'm going to go for an eruption because I don't think you really touch the Torkoal if you are Incineroar. I think you chase down the Venusaur because you, you can fake out to cover uh, us. You're kind of forcing us to max. But if you're worried about us not maxing and going for a, a sleep powder, then you kind of cover that with a fake out. So I think at the moment, like, Torkoal's the least of their worries. Cinderace. Maxing. <sighs> Depends how much investment they've got in Cinderace. Life Orb. With the Life Orb, Stew. Okay, we're going to see a fake out. Probably covering that burning jealousy as well. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Shooker bunny. You can imagine. This isn't going to be great because we're going to see an airstream now. Yeah, and this is going to be life orbed. And I don't know if we take this in return. So we are a speed stat. It's 250, 252. And Cinderace would be. Um, it's definitely faster than us now. 100% faster than us. Um, this is where we make the play where we just. Uh, do we just double? Try and get a G-Max move off, I think. Well, we could max Quake the Incineroar. And we could Scorch and Sands. Or we could Burn and Jealousy as well. I think Burn and Jealousy is not a bad idea. Because then at least we burn the bunny. If they attack into Torkoal, expecting us to max guard. Which I wouldn't be surprised if they do. No. Okay. Okay.
Yeah, I would probably pyro in that situation, but you can see the, the like, I, this is the thing, like, the, now your bunny gets burnt, or probably just taken out, really. And if Incineroar, wow, close combat. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Well, it's kind of a trade I don't mind, to be honest. Okay, Togek is coming in. I still think we take whatever's thrown out at us right now, and we could just protect Tokol, to be honest. Um... We're probably better off kind of preserving it. The other option is bringing T switching Tito now to hopefully take a Dazzle. Um, and then that procs our weakness policy. And then we kind of got the sweep set up. Yeah. Does Tailwind work against Trick Room? No, dude. Listen to Stu here. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. Okay, well, there's the, the parting shot. That's not ideal. It's not what we want to see, but we can kind of accept that if we see a Dazzle Gleam come out from the Togekiss. If it's a Yawn, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's workable. Okay, P2. We're going to try and reverse the Trick Room for sure. They do get the special attack boost, which isn't amazing. Okay, Air Slash, they're going for the flinch. I'm going to try and stop us setting the trick room up. Okay. I still think we're all right, though. Now, do we play the game where we, we don't trick room and we let, we let them set trick room up for us? Could be the play. I'm going to pain split. Um, hmm. Yeah, pain split into. I could just. No, I want to keep the Sclops around. I'm going to pain split that slot and I'm just going to rock slide. Okay, so Incineroar coming back in. I think now they go for the Dazzle and Gleam, which puts us back to neutral if they go for the Dazzle. This could kind of backfire on us, though. We're using pain split on uh, the Togo Kiss. Okay, they're going to go that into Tito, try and flinch us there. Okay, well, we don't get flinched. We are on minus two, though. Um, that's fine, because at least Dusclops gets its health back and puts us in a position where we can potentially get a Trick Room up. And I think they double in. I think they'd have to double in on uh, the Dusclops now. And I'm going to switch into Tokol. I want to reset those drops. I do don't think it's a dumb question. Nothing's a dumb question. Not if you don't know already, dude. So it's always good to ask, man. Don't feel like anything's like a dumb question now, dude. Always feel like you're welcome to ask anything in here. Okay, not great. That's fine though. Now we get the free trick room. We get the reset with uh, Tito. Um, and we've got it back in. Super healthy. And trick room up. And we can just bulldoze and rock slide. And that will be GG, GG, GG. Mm -mm. You know, the other thing is, do I need to, I don't even need to do weakness policy here. It might, we might be better. Huh. Nah, I think we just go for it. I think we just go for it. It's better we get set up. There's a protect on the kiss.
doesn't even matter if we proc a berry here. I, it doesn't look like we are. I don't know. No. No, it doesn't look like we are. There's the berry proc. I'm not even going to say how much I was worried about that miss in there, especially with Incineroar with the close combat. I'm like sweating inside, but I know when I say anything about it, it always backfires and it will miss. So I'm like, I'm better off just not saying anything, just worrying, panicking inside. Okay, I think we're we're pretty fine now. Um, get that special attack boost once again. As long as we've got our sand up, and I think like... At the moment, we're, we're super fine. Did we go Trick Room to reverse the Trick Room? Because they're going to try and reverse it, I think. It's just, I just don't... Like, there's no point of me going Nightshade right now. We're not going to be hitting into the, 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 the P2 at all. Just go on Ice Beam. Okay, that's fine still. Because a superpower now will we'll pick up the P2. And we can just trick room again. And that should be enough. That should do it. Johnny, how are you doing, mate? I see my nemesis is here. Will, how are you doing as well, mate? I hope you're doing good. And that's GG to my opponent. So there we go. Very good game to my opponent. Another nice win for us. Uh, Helden. Hassel, how are you doing? I hope you're well, having a good day. Well, does Lash Out still give a double power if you lower your speed with Bulldoze? Hmm. We need to, we need to consult the War Buffet about this. I feel like one of his videos would be very useful about this. It's worth testing though. I wonder if it does, because that's insane if it does. That's a really, really nice mechanic. Yeah, that's all I meant earlier when I said, give it a go, try the team out, because I think if you try the team out, it'll, it'll give you an idea with where, if you want to take this sort of build forward, it'll give you some ideas with what you need to kind of work on with the team. Um, and if you're struggling against it, it'll give you ideas with what you can do in your own team to kind of beat it. So we've got Homer up as our next opponent, our last opponent. This will be the last one, guys. So we've got Cinderace, we've got Primarina, we've got Wimmy, Rillaboom, we've got Double Grass, uh, the Trick Room mode with the Dusclops and Arcanine. Right, okay. Can we go... Uh, I don't feel like we got Venusaur as a lead, at least, in this one. Um, we can maybe go... I've not even brought Gyarados. I don't think I've brought Gyarados once this evening. We got Bravery up top. Um, hmm... Do I even want T-Tar in this match? Probably not. I've probably got a Dusclops here. Or do I got a Gyarados? Because I could Gyarados could give us a little bit more flexibility. Although we are Moxie, so it's not like we can really ease the Intimidate. But there is the option to go. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst. Um, Okay, let's go. Let's bring the Gyarados. I mean, let's bring it. Let's go Torko. And Venusaur. At least it gives us an option against the Arcanine as well. Gotta keep in mind that it could be beat up Wimmy with that Arcanine. That is something to think of. Uh, Loz, I've been using Venusaur team with Charizard and Togekiss to some success on the ladder. That's good to hear. I do think Charizard's still very good. Um, something else I haven't really played around with this series, but still a super good Pokemon. Well, I only joined the tournament because Lee shared it. Uh, then he didn't even play himself. <laughs> and Stu, I think one of us could go for that step further and get to the final. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Got really boom, we got Dusclops. What are we going to say? We're going to say Trick Room from the Dusclops? I mean... You've got Primarina that could come in and make use of it. Rillaboom, 
I don't know if you're going to make use of it right now. We've got the option where we could potentially max something on our side of the field. Um, the other option is we just uh, attack into Rillaboom and we switch into Venusaur. Uh, with the grassy terrain, like Venusaur's got a not bad position, like a bold position uh, from my opponent's side of the field right now. Okay, Rillaboom going to switch out. Uh, Primarina coming in. Okay, so that, that works out that works out well for us. We get some nice damage onto the Primarina. We've got the grassy terrain up. I mean we get some really nice damage onto the Prim. Uh, so citrus, citrus berry, and we're gonna see the disclops probably set up the trick room now. <coughs> but yeah, you would imagine probably ally switch disclops, right? That's what you've got to imagine. Um, I kind of want to switch in the sun right now, um, but at the same time, we don't want to give ourselves like the additional speed. I mean, we're going to be the fastest thing in the field regardless, aren't we? Um, it doesn't really matter either. I think. Torkoal's probably better to keep in the back. It's just whether we call the ally switch or not. I think we see ally switch, to be honest. I'll go for... I'll go for it. I'll go for it. We'll, we'll double up into the Dusclops slot. And we'll go for the G-Max Vine Lash. Then we're not going to lose anything, either way. <clears throat> yeah, we're not max speed Venu either. Um... I think we're running about one, two, six. I think that's what we're running. Venus, that is pretty fast, uh, but it's not. It's not max speed. Pretty close to max modest, though, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think if, if Prim goes down, if we catch the Primarina here, if we do see an ally switch and we can we can catch the Prim on this ally potential ally switch, then I think we just win. Um, with Torkoal, if we can just get it onto the field. Ooh. No ally switch. Okay, they're going to double into Venusaur. Like Starfall. Take down our Brave. A bird. Ooh, we actually take it. Okay, that's decent. Okay. Gets rid of the grassy terrain. Okay, we got a bit fortunate with a crit there, which is like super useful because this Brave Bird might, with the additional whip damage, probably gets rid of the Dusclops. And now we can get our Torkoal onto the field as well without even worrying about the Dusclops or any ally switch at all. So that works out pretty nice for us. And Johnny, the real spread is 100 and just across the board, right? Yeah. Okay, we get Torkoal in. This definitely doesn't help us. Um, uh, this really doesn't help us against the Cinderace uh, with the Trick Room up. Okay. Hmm. It's a Pyro Ball is going to really, 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 really hurt now. Uh, I mean, we can Scorch and Sands. And then we have to max guard. We have to max guard. Kind of waste a turn now. Maybe a Scorching Sands <clears throat> will be enough with the... At least we'll be able to get it the next turn. Okay, we, we'll get it with the residual damage, so that's fine. Wow, another crit. Okay, that's... yeah. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That, we're getting super lucky here. We're getting super fortunate. Yeah. Although I still think, even without the crit, we would just have another turn with Cinderace on the field. And yeah, that would be another turn of our, our max move. But we kind of check the Cinderace the next turn um, without that crit. We're just kind of cutting this down a little bit short. Uh, okay. Boom coming in. How many turns of Trick Room we got left? I mean, we do have Gyarados in the back and we still got Venusaur. So we're, we're not in the worst position at all. I think you have to fake out the Torkoal here. Um, we probably want to protect. 
and then my max card. I mean, there might be there might be the option here just to go max ooze into Rillaboom. I think that's probably a better play. Give us a special attack boost. Um, and then with our remaining turn of Trick Room, at least Torkoal's kind of boosted up. Yeah, there's a max guard. Okay, that makes a lot of sense to do that as well. Yeah. And this should take down the Rilla Boom. Ooh, okay. Not quite, but it's definitely in range this next turn for Torkoal to do enough with the uh, Burning Jealousy and, and deal with it. Okay, so Venusaur feels like it's done some work this game. It's definitely done some work, so that's nice to see it doing a little bit of work. Um, but I still feel like it's a Pokemon. I'm not like, I do really like it, really appreciate it as a Pokemon. I think it's really good, um, but I don't know. I feel like I need a different build with it to get the most out, I like personally get the most out of it. Uh, go for the Burning Jealousy and then we'll go for the Leaf Storm. Mm, yeah, if so. Might miss, but I mean, we're not really too pressured by the, the Primarina at all, are we? It's not really doing very much. So, this should lock it up. Uh, we get a bit of fortunate, a few turns here and there, but I think overall we probably would have had the, uh, the same result, I think. And that locks it up, so that is good game. Okay, guys, like I said, very good game to my opponent. I will get the rental team, so you guys can try this out for yourselves. Um, and if you do try it out, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. And um, if you do, let me... I would love to hear how you, you get on with it. Here is the rental. Let me. I'm not even in the way, so that's perfect. That is perfect. Uh, I'll, I'll keep my arm down, but yeah. There's the team. Have fun with it. Have a great rest of the evening. Have an amazing day tomorrow, guys. And I'll hopefully see you all Friday at 8 p.m. We'll be streaming again, same time. Um, and we will be playing uh, some some of your teams as well as maybe some of mine as well. Okay. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. And I'll see you all for the next one very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.